Hi guys, welcome to Mablesoft. Today we are going to discuss how we can create a scripted calculation view based on sales data. For that, uh, we would be requiring uh, for our scenario, I am going to take a two transaction table that is a sales order header and a sales order item that is VBAK and VBAP table. So I'm going to join both the table and I'm going to create a scripted calculation view. How can I achieve that? So let's step into that system. I'm selecting the calculation view and I'm going to create a new calculation view. This calculation view based upon the scripted calculation, right? So, so my naming convention would be the calculation, calculation C view of type script. Still. Okay, so I have to take the calculation view of type as script based. Fine. So I'm saying finish. Okay, earlier we do have a nodes different develop like for when you take the calculation view of type cube, here the final node will be the aggregation. If I tell you take this, this as a star chain, you'll be having a star. And if you are taking any uh, dimensions or blank, then it will be a projection. So here we have a script view. So semantics and the script view. So I'm just I'm selecting the script view here. Here you can find the one, the SQL editor where we are going to write the script process, okay? So here, before writing that, we need to understand this, see here, you can find the begin procedure script and end procedure script. In between, we have to write that. So after begin, whenever you want to write any code, or any script we have to write after we have to include that code after the begin okay fine so i have been uh, prepared one script in my notepad just i'm going to use that and i'll explain you in detail So whatever the script we write, we will define them after the beginning and it should complete before the end process, okay? So this is my script. So what is our agenda? Is Our agenda is to create a sales analysis report using the script based, right? So here the script should be written after the begin and it should end before the end process, okay? So we have a begin and the end at the bottom. Right, and there is something like wear out. Wear out is nothing but the output. So result, whatever the result we have to mention, that would be the wear output. Okay. So already I have defined this wear output here. So it's not required once again. Right. So what I have written the code. My code specifies that I'm defining here the two tables. Right. One is the column. One is the sales order header table, and one is the sales order item table. So I define the keyword which you used to define is the CE column table because I'm going to define the column. Everything in HANA will be specified as a column tables, right? So we define the keyword for defining the column will be the CE column table, okay? So here we have two things. One is the, this is the VBAK is a table and this table is present in my schema. What is the schema? Schema is SAP SLT01, okay? So out one so one table i'm going to define the few fields for the analysis that will be defined and assigned to the out one okay out one define in my out one i have a column table that is a vbak table and the fields that i have been selecting is the sales order sales document er that vb type and the net netw one net value okay these are the four fields i'm going to define from the vbak table and and, and posting that into the output. In the output, 
the second table i am going to define the vpap which is the sales document item table okay so here the naming convention would be the key column table schema name dot the table name okay from this i am going to take the sales document number sales item document item material number and the value let wait so these are the fields i'm taking from both both the tables okay and there should be one common field that's why i have taken the vbs sales document number which is a key column so i have defined the both tables now i had out one and out two so table output of the table one represents i am selecting the vbln er dat vb type and netwr from the out one and from the out two i am selecting the vbln uh, sales document item material number and the value key figure value or the major value okay so now what is our we need to join these two tables so for joining just i am using a j j type join type it's not the keyword just i have mentioned my it's a user defined one so how do i join them so join for the join the key word is the ce underscore join so ce underscore join followed with out one comma out two okay and followed with the tables so whatever the fields i'm going to define i'm going to take from the out one and the out two that i will define here before that to see i am going to join the out one and out two right so for out one and out two i should be having one key column right it should be mapped that is the vbl that's why how i have embedded that within the closed cross okay so c1 and c out one and out two in the out one and out two i am going to join with the vbl and sales document number and what are the fields i need to display what are the fields i need to select from both the tables i would be requiring the sales document number er dat vp type netwr posnr material number and net gw okay nt gw so these are the fields i would be requiring fine so i have defined serial sequence okay the next i need to display output what output i have to get from these two joins okay i need to get the output how to define the output that the keyword for defining the output is var underscore out okay in that i need to use the keyword projection ce underscore projection for displaying the output okay so ce underscore projection and i'm displaying whatever whatever the join i have mentioned i have to mention here j type because j type is the join of out one and out two right and next what are the fields i need to display for the output i would be requiring the sales document number er dat vp type netwr Sales document item material in NTDW. These are the fields I would be requiring for the output. Okay, so this is how, and then close this area. When you walk, when you here you can find. So this is the closed bar. Right, it's the open bar, and this is the closed bar, and here also. Okay, so you have to check the comma and the open parentheses closed bar equal. Okay, so they should not exceed. Okay, otherwise throws an error. Fine. So after that, end of the program. Once it is done. Okay. Then next, what we have to do? We have to define whatever the fields I want for the output. The fields should be defined in the columns. In the output box, we have something like columns. Select the columns. Right click, create columns. Okay. So here we get a one more window for creating the columns. that instead of pasting everything directly we have something like add columns from add columns from what which table it is asking for so we need to select the vpak table so under which schema it is going to be sap slp01 okay so what are the fields i have selected from vpak i selected vbln er that next vb type and netwr these are the fields i have selected from vbak table and say finish fine these are the three these are the four tables four fields four fields i have selected from the vbak since our header table and its data type is nvar cap and for the netwr it's dismal 15 and scalar is 2 okay after that again because we have one more table we have selected that is a vbak table and uh, When you select the VBAP table, select it. Say next. From this table, I need to select the PVSNR, MTNR. Okay. 
material number and one more is the N T G E W right. This is the one. So add this. But everything should be in the remove it. Everything should be in the sequence. Okay, I'll let you know that what the sequence. And to see that. Okay, fine. <clears throat> see here. So we have V B L R E R D V B type N E T W R P Y S N R M E T N R N T E W. Okay, and say okay. When you see this, we have to see the sequence. What are the sequence we have maintained here from the twentieth line? V B L R E R D V B type. See V B type N E T W R P Y S N R M E T N R N T E W. So the same sequence is mentioned in the output also. So output. What are the sequence you have mentioned in the in the code on the script? The same sequence we have to maintain here. Otherwise, throws an error. Okay, it does not recognize. Once everything is done, once I mention the columns and also the code and also the sequence, okay. Once everything is done, now I am going to activate this model. Firstly, I will to validate this model. It's completed its warnings, and then I am going to activate this model. Once my model is activated, now I want to see the data. See here, we have a VBLN sales document number followed with a year date, okay, and VB type, item, okay, and material number, value, and the point. This is how we can create a scripted calculation view based on sales model here. i am going to join the two tables one is the sales order header and with the line item and i have used the ce function and the script based calculation view okay thank you